Hey everybody, we're gonna talk about um, airspeed. There was there's some questions uh, that I get about airspeed. What does that mean? Um, so you could really think of it as velocity. Um, I know that those are kind of two different things. I use the terms interchangeably because I'm not a scientist. Um, but we're gonna d d discuss the difference between um, volume that you produce. Um, AKA the quantity of air, uh, whether you use a lot of air or less air, um, versus the speed of air. So how fast the air comes out, uh, versus how slow the air comes out. Um, I learned from some of my teachers in the past that there's a difference, um, between quantity and velocity. And really it's, quantity equals the volume you produce and velocity equals high notes versus low notes. There's more to it than that, uh, but that's the simplistic version of it. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit um, about those things and I'm also going to uh, discuss a little bit of embouchure stuff because um, they all kind of go hand in hand. So I'll give you guys some demonstrations of things um, and I'll do my best to explain uh, what's going on and how we can use these things uh, to help better our playing because we all know that trumpet is a difficult instrument to to master and we all continually look for things to improve so this air speed um, that we're going to discuss first is well I like to, to associate it with uh, water hose and I know some of you guys have probably heard this before so that water hose imagine that you've got your hose right and the water's coming out the end you don't have a nozzle or anything special it's just an open hose you've got the water turned on and it kind of comes out and it just kind of flows off right just right there's no there's no restrictions um, there's nothing to to um, give any pressure to the water uh, other than what's just naturally coming out so that essentially is us going You know, just nice, easy, open. But what if on that water hose, you've got that water stream coming out and you start putting your thumb or your finger or something over the edge. What what do we know happens? That water, it starts to get some restriction there, right? And it starts to shoot out. And instead of it just falling off the end, it starts shooting out and spraying. And we get this really, what seems to be a fast stream of air or stream of water and it's shooting off and you know we've all done it in the yard with our brothers and sisters and we you know try to sh shoot each other with it and whatever and they try to run away so you you squeeze even harder on the end um, and that water shoots even further our airstream and how we play high notes low notes it's all related to that okay so if I put this up here and I just go okay that's just a nice easy There's nothing to it, okay? But what if, instead of going with everything open, I start raising my tongue. So my tongue is low, and as I start increasing that pressure, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend that my tongue is my thumb over the water hose, right? So the water hose is, is the end of it's here, kind of imagine it at the, at the teeth, right? And I, I go, okay? So I'm going to raise my tongue. It's going to start raising in the back. until I'm going right and we a lot of times in the brass world or in the in the band world in general we call that sizzling okay sizzle the air okay so an open to a sizzle okay and I'll even do that without moving my mouth okay that essentially is going low notes to high notes. Okay, if I do it on here. Okay, I haven't truly increased a lot down here. Okay, 
this, this is nice and supported down in my, in my abdomen, in my stomach. Okay. My belly is nice and supported the whole time. Um, but what happens is, is as that air is coming up into my mouth and getting ready, getting ready to exit through my, through my teeth and my lips, I'm going to let my tongue raise and, and push forward. Okay. And that's going to give me a lot of control over that upper register without putting a whole lot of um, pressure and tension here. So if I buzz, I'll try to get this to where you can see it. Okay. And that's some of it is, is controlled here. Okay. And I'm going to squeeze to the center. Okay. Um, some of it is that air speed that's going to push through. So as I go up, my tongue is going forward to help support that um, higher velocity of air speed that I need to give support to that upper register note. Now, if I do that on a regular mouthpiece, Obviously, this gets a little looser um, down on the bottom, but I still want to maintain, you know, a nice firm embouchure here. Um, but as it goes up, this is going to get tighter in my corners, and you can see these muscles, they get more, more contracted. Um, but I'm uh, trying not to put a lot of pressure on the face any more than what's needed to maintain the seal. But that tongue control, that's what's going to give me that velocity that I need without having to, you know, say, okay, I need to just go and blow faster from here. Okay. Because whenever I put more air out through, um, through, through, through from the belly, that's really just going to give me more quantity. And that quantity is just going to give me a louder sound. So in order to differentiate between quantity and speed, I actually like to practice and I'll try to do this without uh, being too loud for the microphone. So I'll, I'll point this way. Um, but I like to practice um, playing uh, flow studies or scales or lip slurs or something like that as I ascend. I actually like to get softer and softer. So that way I'm not using any more quantity, but I can, I can work on controlling that speed um, here with the tongue and getting that kind of velocity going through just the same as that thumb over the water hose. So here's an example. So what I'll do is I'll decrescendo going up. And when I get up there, I'll try to hold it just nice and soft, nice and easy. And then I'll crescendo as I come down, which a lot of the exercises that we learn teach the opposite of that. Um, it's teaching to use the volume um, to help assist with the high register. And I like to think the opposite of that. Now, there, there's reasons for that. There's good things in that. You know, if you're developing right now, you might need that in order for your body to learn how to utilize that air more. But as you get more developed, start backing off on that as you go up and, and don't use the, the force you know, cramming that horn in your face and don't use volume to get it. Um, allow that, that velocity that you get from your tongue. Okay. Or if I want to stay loud, Okay, so I got louder as I went up that time. The first time I got softer as I went up. Um, so it's a good way for you to teach your body volume doesn't equal high notes or low notes. Like quantity is pure volume, speed is pure range. Okay, so you gotta you gotta teach your body how to differentiate between those two things. Um, I don't know if you guys could hear <clears throat> could hear the difference in the volume. 
uh, through the microphone and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, take this knowledge, uh, use it how you want. If it works for you, great. Um, if it doesn't, or if you're confused or anything like that, you know, drop comments in there. I'll try to explain uh, any further. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you.